So what's the best way to get ready to start at ATP? Well, in this video, I'm going to get into all that and more to make sure you're super prepared for your first day of flight school. Let's get into it. What's up you guys and welcome back to Taking Flight. If you're new here, my name is Ethan Gregerson. I'm an instrument rated private pilot out of ATP Georgetown, Texas. And in this video, as you saw in the title, I'm gonna talk about the best way to get prepared for your first day of ATP flight school. So a few weeks ago, I made another video about ATP and talked about what to expect on your first day. And in that video, I talked about what to expect on your first day, but I also talked a little bit about the best way to prepare for your first day. And if you wanna watch that video, I'll have it linked down in the description or you can watch it up here. But in the video, one of the biggest things I talked about was getting your written exam exams done before you started. So in this video, I wanna talk a little bit more about why you should get your written exams done, and then also how to do it, like the fees, how to study, and where to take the exam. So with that said, let's get into the first thing, which is why you should take your written exams before your first day. So in case you didn't know, there are three things you need to do before you can get a certificate at any flight school. The first thing you need to do is take your written exam, which is what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. And then the second and third thing you need to do is pass an oral and a flight portion of a practical exam. Now the written exams aren't necessarily hard, but they're just very time consuming to study. And since ATP is such a fast paced program, you don't have a lot of time to study for your written exams. Now, while it's not impossible to do your written exams while you're in the program, it's just very hard because you're either flying or studying for your check ride and adding and studying for your written exam is just not easy to do. It can lead to a lot of delays and it's just really gonna stress you out because you have check rides to study for. And that's the biggest reason you wanna get your written exams done before your class date. So you can focus less on studying for your exams and more on flying, which is why we're all in the program in the first place. So now that we have the why out of the way, let's get into the how to study for your written exams and how to take your written exams. So studying for these written exams is actually pretty simple. There are two tools that I'm definitely gonna recommend and those are Sporty Study Buddies and Shepherd Air. For your private pilot written exam, Exam, Sporty Study Buddy is definitely the way to go. I think it's like a $15 app. It's in the app store. I'll leave all these linked down in the description. And it basically just gives you a ton of practice questions. And when you score about a 90 or higher, you're good to go take your written exam. For every written exam, I find that about 15 to 20 hours of written test prep is pretty normal and uh, will get you a pretty good grade. So like I said before, the link to Sporty Study Buddy can be found in the description. And for your private pilot written exam, I think that's the best one. Now for every other written exam past your private pilot, I would 100% recommend Shepherd Air. I'm also gonna leave Shepherd Air linked down in the description and you actually have to call them to buy it. It's a little bit old fashioned, but they are so good for written exams. They give you literally every question that's gonna be on your written exam and then you just study the questions. Now this isn't rote memorization and you should be looking into the explanations to make sure you're actually understanding the concept. But as far as your written exam score goes, there's really nothing that beats Shepherd Air. The price of Shepherd Air kind of ranges for every written exam you take, but on average it's about $40 per written exam, which might sound like a lot, but it's 100% worth it because you will pass every single written exam, I promise you. Like I said before, 15 to 20 hours studying for each written exam is pretty normal. And the nice thing about Shepherd Air is they literally have a study strategy that will guarantee a pass and will do it in the least amount of time. So as long as you follow that study strategy, like step by step, you'll be totally fine. So now let's say you've studied for your written exam. How do you actually go take them? Let's get into scheduling your written exam and actually going and finding a testing center. So to register and actually take your written exams, you're gonna wanna go to faa.psitesting.com. On the website, you're gonna create an account, hit find a testing center, and then follow all the on-screen instructions and pay the $175 fee to take your written exam. Keep in mind, this isn't a test you take online or that you take at some local place. Some of these testing centers are kind of far away from where you live. For example, on my first test, my private pilot airplane written exam, I had to drive about an hour away to the local testing center that had availability. So if you don't live close to a testing center, be prepared for a little bit of a drive and also keep in mind that the fee is $175 for each exam. Now, like I said before, you wanna knock out all your written exams. So I'm gonna leave the order in which you wanna take those written exams down below in the description and I'll flash it on screen here. But if you follow those tips, I promise you ATP will be so much easier when you start. You'll never have to worry about a written exam and you'll likely be ahead of pace. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps. Let me know in the comments how your written exams went if you took them. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as well to stay tuned for more ATP content like this. So with that said, thanks again for watching. Stay safe, stay proficient, and we'll see you in the next video.